ESL1 Hamburg is brought to you in part by Intel, Mercedes-Benz, Logitech G, Gerolsteiner, Wustenroth, Legion Lenovo, and StubHub. Multicultural Team Secret versus Team Liquid. Semi final number two. Draft time for game one is almost upon us. Welcome back to ESL One Hamburg 2017. We're getting very close now to our grand final. Just one more series to decide who goes through to play Virtus Pro. And just a quick update for you if you're following the Dota Professional Circuit points. Right now, Virtus Pro are top, just by means of making it through to a major final. I say just, but hey, what a performance so far from them. We'll see them a little bit later on in the grand final. Time to turn our attention to the draft very shortly. Gents, we're back once more, getting ready for the draft. Just before we get there, because I'm, I'm feeling like I haven't really asked you many tough questions this week. I haven't really put you on the spot and given you something to chew on. So let me Hit give you this ball. one. If you're Ice Frog right now, if you were, Bin Ice Frog Woo. What? <laughs> what? What would you change? What would What would be your patch when it comes out? What's the one big thing you want to do? Ranked or random death match? I love it. That's I genuinely change. love it. What about you, Sint? So I'm a little less ambitious on my major <laughs> change. Okay, a little bit. I would remove the extra creep in mid. Really? Why? Because yeah. I I've I was skeptical about it when it came out. Yeah. Um, and I feel like what it has done is that it has kind of normalized the game a bit too much because you just look at the map and you're like, there's three lanes, but this lane is more important and it's forced more important. So that's why in every game, you never really see a team just fully sacrifice their mid lane. That's, right. It's not really an option. You Sometimes you lose your safe lane, sometimes you lose your off lane, but every game, there's either a good matchup in mid or you help it with your position force because there's just way more, it has higher impact on the game. I feel like it's cooler if all the lanes are equal because then it gives more strategic diversity because then you can really choose how you put your resources. So, I think it was an experiment that's been thought about for a long time to try it. In my mind, I don't think that in particular made the game better. That's what I said. Okay, all right. If there was a hero you wanted to buff or at least make viable again, what would it be? Oh, let me just look at the list. Uh, I'm it's, glad that you're at least looking and not just saying techies. <laughs> oh, I don't want to buff that hero. There's, there's plenty of... <laughs> it's hard to say, right? Because pretty much every hero seems to be yeah, viable in one problem, way or the other. It? Yeah. Um, but a hero I would like to see a buff to... Just to see, like, come back into the meta again, I guess. So we've we've just seen a bit of undying, actually. Yeah, but that's a hero have. I used to love to play, and I feel like it's just really hard to use. This tournament went one on one, I believe. Newbie won a game and yeah. lost a game with it. Uh, but they were the only team to even touch it, I, I think, think apart from that, unbanned, unpicked. That's a cool hero that I could, I would like to see do, some do more wanna, play with. Do you want to see a bit more Invoker? Mm. A bit more Shadow Fiend? I'm a sucker for the mids. They're still pickable. They're still playable. Yeah. You could buff Shadow Fiend a little bit. It's one yeah, of the iconic Dota heroes. Yeah. It's nice to see Shadow Fiend, but he just had like a really good streak not too long ago where he was the mid for a while. So yes. maybe it's someone else's turn. Right. Oh, Let's get into our first draft then. look who's banned first phase. Yeah, no risks here. No risks. This is very interesting because the most beloved hero of both teams is currently in the pool, or one of them. Chen has been untouched. Venno, Io. Venno and Io as well are in. Um, you could very interesting. Take Venno first? They uh, predominantly have. I think if, if you're liquid, okay. Ooh. Night Soccer oh, as well. And Night Soccer. Yeah, and Night Soccer. That's another challenge. I mean, That's we didn't really talk too much about it, but it is one of those challenged heroes between the two. And Liquid banned Secret's favorite counter, uh, Spirit Breaker. So this makes Nice Locker a better pick. I think Secret will definitely pick Venno as one of the heroes. I think that hero is one of the worst matchups for Nice Locker, if not the worst, just in terms of game flow. Kuro seems very happy. <laughs> like, hey, we got there, Nice Locker. What are you going to do now? Uh, openings that could work for Secret. Chen Venno, I think, is pretty strong. Chen is a great hero against Nice Locker. Groups up, plays five men, can dominate lanes early on. Nice Locker can't really deal with that. Um, there's also still the Nature's Prophet is in. Actually, yeah. Chen, Nature's Prophet, something Secret has run in the past as their first two, but have gone away from a bit. We'll see. I'm definitely expecting a Chen, at least. I feel like both either Chen or Venno will definitely be picked here. 
or both. Okay, that's the Venom. Hmm. Why would they not pick Chen? Um, they might be afraid that it pigeonholes them a little bit too much, that their lineup is already so defined that they can't adjust very much later on. That's one of the things that Secret kind of got trapped by in the game when they went Night Stalker, Io as their supports, and then they wanted a Huskar later, but it made their lineup fall apart. Um, so if they're worried that they will be forced into playing more of a split push kind of game, then they've all fully committed to this five-man style with a Chen pick. So that's probably what's going through Poppy's mind. Could also be thinking about picking his Bane. Yeah. Hero that's been As, pretty um, successful. Yeah, and he, he seems to have championed that over the last month or so. Oh, that is... Okay. Ooh, Ooh. Hello. Remember two, when we two said core, Secret two might core be too open. cute? When was, the la one. when was the last time you saw a two-core open? Uh, it's happened Has it happened here? before. Liquid went, Liquid went Venno Brood in one of Actually, the games, yes, they but did. they were yeah. first pick. Yeah. This yeah. is very yeah. different. They're showing two cores right off the bat, and Liquid have a counter pick. This is very surprising to me. But Secret are probably in the position where they feel like, <laughs> we have the best Ember player in the world, if we want the hero, or at least one of them. Like, maybe they feel like they have the best. I think both SCC and Mid-1 and Miracle, all three are uh, very good at that hero. Well, maybe it's also Elsa because might. Liquid might respond with the IO pick in the first phase, and then they don't have to worry about the IO Ember combo later on, too. I, I don't really like that support duo so much. I, I, already, like I own Night Stalker is just not the best pairing. I already, I already like the mind games going on in this game. But they can, they can do offlane Night Stalker. They right? could do offlane in S4 mind control, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Like with one of the teams that would do that. Now they won't. This is one of the go-to heroes <laughs> against Venomancer. They pick uh, the mm -hmm. Knight's Prophet. Nature Stalker. Could you imagine that hero? What was the, what was the one that you, <laughs> you guys got me at Epicenter last year? I, can't I got confused between. I wanted to say Earth Spirit. I know what it was. The Elder Spirit. That's El what you call Elder it. Titan and Earth Spirit? Yeah, because the two of them came up at the same time and I said Elder Spirit. And he went, That's a great name for you. <laughs> God, thanks, Sid. <laughs> God. <laughs> Brilliant. It's been a while. Bench ban? That's, that's a fun opener, though, isn't it? What, what a fun opening phase. Yeah, this is very unexpected. What's the bench ban for? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Are they setting up for like a Batrider yeah. or... Uh, it's also something that Liquid do play on Matumba Man. If they play high tempo style, they can put a core Venge and it might be something that Secret just doesn't like to face. It's been a while since they've gone for that. I don't even think they picked it up this tournament at all. Matumba has been playing in pubs. I mean, this is th when you're looking at this kind of matchup, this is one where you know every player in the opposing team and you really know what they're doing. So, True that. Uh, there's probably a bit more info going into this one than when, for example, Liquid played Keen yesterday. Uh, but so far, I'm more on board with Liquid's first two picks just because they have way more flexibility in what they do right now. Unless Secret Curveball doesn't put a support Venno, which is something we very rarely see, but is an option if it's too counterpicked as a core. Viper Ban as well. Okay. Do you think Jungle Venno has no place in this patch? Uh, I think if you put Jungle Venno, it almost has to be an afterthought as a core. Because if you put one of your supports in the jungle for the first five minutes, good teams will just punish you way too hard. Uh, but if it's an off laner and it can't just flat out can't lane, and you can go in the jungle and either get some farm or force supports to rotate on you, it frees up the map elsewhere. Uh, whereas, let's say you put Venno jungle as a support, one support from the enemy team can just go and mess with you, and then it's equalized, and you have a support that's way more level dependent, just sitting around in the jungle and not getting anything. So there's plenty of supports that can bully Venno alone. Uh, obviously, there is the Rich. threat of rotation, but yeah. If, if Secret want to be cute, they can try it. I don't think it's impossible, I just think it's hard. Especially against Furion. Just come in and mess with you with Treants alone. I'll already make it hard. So, Lich, this is a hero Virtus Pro has banned first every game of the tournament, I think, regardless of opponents. It's like, we hate Lich. Don't blame him. I love it, though. <laughs> what does that say about me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a uh, solid laning for Secret Secured. Now they can put the Lich with Ember so they can offset if they have a bad matchup. And Silencer for Liquid. Interesting. Okay. These are very different approaches to what we've seen as of late from both teams. Is, it, is this not what Virtus Pro were talking about, though, in the sense that if it was Virtus Pro that said it, we don't like playing Secret because of this? Liquid are also doing something way different too. Yeah, but aren't they reacting to Secret? Isn't that why? Because they're having to play slightly different or draft slightly differently? That's a good point. I would think part of the reason, we're still not sure where the statement is from, right? <laughs> no. Where we're saying that we don't It's not attributed right now. But Rumors have it 
Secret, when they draft well, they are very good at getting good lane matchups. And that is something Virtus Pro hate playing against because Virtus Pro are a team that's very snowbally by nature and want to get off to a good start. Uh, probably the reason they ban Lich every game is that no one doesn't want to tilt minute five and just leave. So then you don't want to play against Lich and dual mid. So just, it's probably just solo <laughs> making sure his mid player gets to play Dota when he bans the. There's probably nothing else than that. This, this hero has plenty of issues. Lich, you can definitely outplay it with different heroes. One of them on Liquid's side right now. Actually, two of them. I think both Night Stalker and Nature's Prophet have potentials against Lich. So it's Doom. Fata Doom? Mm. He was really good with that hero. Oh, yeah. yeah. One of his best. Yeah. For sure. Very good. I like it. It's a hero that can run in. It can pressure the silencer very early on. Global really doesn't mean anything to him. It's pretty nice. He has a frost armor to also back it up. One of the classic lanes that LFY ran at TI, the off lane Lich Doom. Yep. That kind of just ran over oh, a lot of teams. They picked Necro into Doom. That's unusual. Why would you do that? Uh, for the laning, probably. Liquid might be scared that they will lose the lanes too hard. So now they get a Matumba hero that can, if this is a lane in isolation, just Necro against Doom. Necro wins that lane pretty yeah. hard. So. This could be Liquid's way of either forcing the Lich to play in Doom's lane, or at least uh, putting pressure on Secret to swap their lanes around in a way that they would not like. Why do you think they pick Silencer? Just only for the Ember? What other reason is there for the Silencer pickup? Because uh, this is the hero that Liquid have not picked. picked Liquid at have all. zero stuns to play with Silencer. It's a bit weird. Like usually yeah. you pick Silencer if you have, say, a Batrider, and you can lasso a guy, global silence so they can't counterplay and get that pick. But right now they have no guarantee that they get a pick with the global. Or to use it to counter a shaker or something like that that jumps in. Yeah, exactly. Like, if it counters something, it wasn't like particularly great when they picked it here, I think. Um, there might I, be something they have had a reason for it though, which is what I'm curious. I'm trying to find that reason. I, s I think the hero is in some ways pretty good against Ember because of Last Word. Uh, Ember is a very chaining type hero, so it's annoying when you oh. get Last Worded. Hey. <laughs> um, so and of course, that. the global sets you up to kill him off. But I just don't know if that's enough to justify it as a third pick in this draft. I'm not that big of a fan of this support duo in particular. Like uh, Night Stalker Silencer, I think, do a bit of the same, like both playing around Silence. If the first pick from Liquid would have been the GH Earth Spirit instead, I think it would have been a way better pick. Because then you can allow Earth Spirit to roll in, cast all his spells because he can't get counterplayed with Global, and then play around it that way. But we'll see. I like Liquid's first phase a lot. The second phase to me falls a little bit flat. So currently a bit more in the Secret train here, but uh, and Secret even had the last pick. So yeah. I think they should be pretty happy with what they've got right now. It's a very unusual Liquid draft, isn't it? It really is. Any way they throw us for a loop and do something like a Wisp last pick for Liquid and change one of those other heroes into a core? Uh, what would you, what, what would you do? Mid silencer? Yeah. It has to be the silencer that's a core then. I don't think you put core Night Stalker and support Furion or have Night Stalker, Furion, and Necro as your tri core. It's a bit strange. Sounds pretty weak to me. I'm more or less set on this being a silencer support. We could see it, it actually that's a fair point. I think silencer as a core is actually really strong against Ember Spirit in lane. That's a bad lane matchup for the Ember. If they're thinking that way, that could be a possibility. That's one of the pieces of information you give away when you pick Ember Spirit so early is that this hero in my mind is almost a lock on mid. You can sometimes safe yeah. lane it, but very one dimensional in its laning, so you can counter pick with matchup. And <laughs> again, Aces Meepo. <laughs> Just in case. Uh Brood is still... No, no, no that no, was no, first no, no. phase ban. I was like, I don't <laughs> no, see Brood no, no, ban no, toward no, the end. No, I'm not used no, to looking no, up no, there no, for Brood. No. I'm not used to looking <laughs> in the first phase for Brood ban. That was, that was a good one. So. Whenever, you look at, whenever you look at these two teams, you look for Brood, man. I'm just you saying, do. like, these yeah. teams play that yeah. so much. And the Meepo. And the Huskar. Got to be sure you don't fall into traps. Is there anything left? Um, anything cheesy? No, tricky here. So I think Liquid just flat out need a miracle here. Oh, okay. Oh, hello. It's back. Oh, we say. Which of the two amazing Doom targets are you going to Doom now? So <laughs> will you pick Necro or Invo? <laughs> hmm. A choice of two. This, to me, looks like an absolutely outstanding Pugna game if they could fit it into their strat. But uh, Where would that go, though? That's now? the thing. Like, yeah. Would they be try to be cute and put it on a four? Because okay. okay. they, yeah. So it's support Lich and Doom.
by Yep Sorno, yeah. it looks like. Not a Fatsa Doom this time around. It will be Fatsa on Ven Lancer. We haven't seen that too much. Um, Fatsa on Ven now? Yeah, have you seen that? Uh, not, not recently. Oh, we've seen it a little bit, but that's like his, those are his heroes. Viper, Razor, Veno. This that's is a sick PL game, by the way. It is so good. The only thing that's dangerous to him is if Invoker combos him. Pretty much nothing else can even touch you him. You can't really combo him, though, because he has a stop there. Yeah, there's Global Silence. So, you know, by and Night Stalker Silence. By so you Silence, the then you Force Manta, <laughs> then you Global, then you combo. Come on, it's easy. All right. He's got uh, an TI, man. In one word, which way is game one going? I like Secret. A bit more. I think they have good counter picks. Uh, one word. I will also go with Secret. <laughs> Uh, a Sorry, plethora fine. of words here at the desk as we will now wrap things up and we'll go back inside the Barclay Card Arena. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second semi final. It's all set nicely between Team Liquid and Secret. Let's see how they get on. You couldn't ask for a better matchup here in the semifinal. On the final day of ESL1, Hamburg, Team Secret versus Team Liquid. Kuro versus Puppy, two long-standing Dota players turned captains. Veterans of the industry have both pretty good similarities between the two. They both have some young superstar positions in both their forward position as well as their mid lane. They've got some veterans in there as well, especially Secret. Having the experience Fada in the offlane, Mind Control certainly adapted in his own in Liquid. He seems to be one hell of an offlaner. I love this matchup, Blitz, but who do you really give it to after looking at this draft? I mean, we called the Phantom Lancer towards the end for Secret, but do you think that actually wins them this entire match? I think it does. I think this hero is going to go relatively unchallenged. I think he's a really strong hero right now. I know he hasn't had the best statistics, but sometimes when you just have a really good PL game, it's going to be a really good PL game. But I mean, I'm really interested in this matchup. It could have easily been a grand finals anywhere else. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Secret have been on one hell of a roll, but they just, they haven't proven themselves at the highest level yet, yes. right? Like they haven't gotten themselves a win at a minor. Now they're at the major. Now that this is their best shot to be able to establish themselves before this patch comes to a close. I also want to talk about what you said on the panel. Remember we were talking about how Kuro, he had that thing that he said about being able to establish this meta as Team Liquid. And right here, right now, this is their opportunity to close out this patch. Yeah, I know that Kuro's really interested in legacies and being able to say we were the best from start to finish, I think would mean a lot to him as both sides actually feature hometown favorites. Yeah. Both German players in this game on Secret and Liquid. I heard one dude clap. <laughs> Look at that. Team Liquid going for the invasion. Are able to pick up that extra bounty rune? So we're going to have Fada on the off lane Venomancer. The little switcheroo that Secret gave us. And they're going to have Ace taking over the mid lane as the Phantom Lines are a good matchup versus the Invoker, correct? Yes. And Yapsor going to be playing this spoiler role where. I think this Doom is going to be quite annoying. Doom has always been a very good hero against the Invoker because you can just simply run at him. Mm -hmm. Invoker's weakness has always been the fact that if you dual lane him, he can't really do a whole lot against it. And I think this support Doom kind of threw them for a loop. They were probably expecting something like the Lich plus the Doom in the off lane. Yep. But instead, it's something a little bit different here. And that means we're going to be having a safe lane for mid one on the Ember Spirit. Uh, guarded by Puppy's Lich, but he is going up against a Furion. This looks like a really tough lane for Secret. So even if they do get the one-on-one -on -one matchup or even the two-on-two -two matchup in the mid lane, their safe lane is going to be suffering heavily. And I think they're okay with that trade, although you'd really like to see Yapstar try to grab a creep, make an aggressive move on this mid lane, as he had to use his first Devour just for the Treants. Yapstar being a bit of a greedy player, and this is the perfect hero for a greedy player. Yeah, absolutely. A support Doom that can spend his time in the jungle, get his own set of farm. You can already see he's level two. Uh, looks like he actually picked up a bigger troll, so he does have at least the ensnare to be able to set up a gank here. Fada playing pretty aggressively. He's running out of regen. is going to have to go through a healing south. Yeah. You can see poor mid one. At least they finally got the ice armor from Puppy, so that will help mitigate a lot of the physical damage that is being run at him by Mind Control's Furion, as well as GH's Night Stalker. And right now at bottom, Puppy, just trying to drag the creep way back, is going to be able to do so. And it looks like Mind Control and GH wanted to get aggressive, but likely to just wait 
until it's nighttime. No real rush for them. As up at top, Fada starting to get low, but... Oh, the Furion's going to TP in here. Mind Control is going to be able to catch Fada, and that's going to be our first blood. As Very Fire buys him a little bit more time, as well as the Magic Watt, but here comes the Sun Strike. Jehovah, Miracle is able to land the first blood here for Liquid. And a very nice pickup for Invokers. That global presence allows him to get some XP, get some farm. We've got double global heroes here, Invoker and the, the Furion, so this is a way that Liquid can really keep the pressure on Secret. Yeah. They don't have my favorite setups that I've ever seen for the Invoker Sunstrike. Oftentimes when they have something like this, they give Mind Control something like Beastmaster. Mm -hmm. But I think there are just some heroes that you don't want to give Mind Control, and Nature's Prophet happens to be one of them, and so Liquid pretty much has to pick it. Yeah. You've got to kind of put the fear into people in best of threes. You've got to say, like, these are still the heroes that we think are OP. Try to beat them. And for Secret, it'll mean a lot if they can beat this Nature's Prophet in this first game, considering no one was able to really do it at TI. Yeah, we saw TI, they were like, geez, the Syrian is too much, and they banned it in the, the second and third game after giving it up in the first series. Radiant Let's see whether or not... Uh, oh, he Secret even sniped the Courier. He's inside base. the base oh, right man. now. He's getting on top of Matumba Ban. It looks like he may drop here as Yapsor's first rotation is going to be well worth it. But as you said, Mind Control did manage to uh, snipe out. Did he snipe it as it was leaving? That was such a weird position. He suicided in for it. I, I saw it happening. I was like, what is he doing there? Yeah. <laughs> and does manage to find the timing for it and then immediately suicides to the fountain so he can make his way down bottom. But those were the tangos, I believe. As mid one, also out of regen. And this is going to hurt them a lot more than I think they realize. So you think after being able to snipe that and seeing that mid one's not going to be able to get reach and do we just continue to keep the pressure on that safe lane, keep the Ember Spirit down? Yeah, but unfortunately he had to suicide for it, Yeah, which I think is the correct call. You're not getting out of there with your life. Yeah, so it's going to take him a little extra time to get back to lane. It's also going to help Miracle out, who is really farmed right now for four minutes in the game. Level five has... A ring of Bassy. I thought the fan was supposed to win this matchup. What happened? Uh, I think it's the combination of him getting first blood. Yes. The largest thing is he got first blood and they get the courier kill. Here comes the rotation down to bottom lane. GH is going to go for mid one here. They're trying to go for the body block with the treants as well as the slow. With the strike. strike over the top, that's going to be another miracle kill. Two to two, maybe two to three. Puppy barely gets out alive, it looks like, with the TP away. But now Liquid have completely forced this safe lane back to base. And they are going to have some free lanes, it looks like. Yeah, right now, both the safe lanes are suffering. As we saw, Yapsor heavily prioritized harassing that top area. And Liquid, right now, it seems like most of their focus is trying to put pressure on lanes so that Miracle can get this very advantageous 1v1. And I say that now just because of such a good start he's had. And mid one at bottom, getting dove by the illusions. Kroki, That's though, fun. out of mana. He's going to pop out that flame guard. GH Maybe they is going to try and run him. him down here. Now, he doesn't have the silence, so he's just going to throw out the level 2 slow from the void. But it looks like they are going to be able to bring him down with just the physical attacks. So Liquid gain yet another kill. A TP in from the Doom here. Looks like Yapsor is going to try and keep the pressure off of this tower. Now, in some situations, you would see this kind of pressure and actually give up the safe lane tower early, but it doesn't look like Secret's going to do that, and it may cost them their lives. Yapsor's going to get by another Sun Strike from Miracle. Liquid is just racking him up for Miracle to knock him down. And most of the time you see Liquid, they try to like try lane mid, but this time around they're just creating space around the map, finding kill opportunities. So even better for Miracle as I think Gaps or you have to give up on that area. Liquid representing three heroes at once are so strong early on and something do we that start, we should... like, What do we do as Secret to change this? Do we put Venomancer bottom lane and like switch up the lane somehow? Yes, oh, and that's exactly yeah. what they're going to do. But this isn't going to be helpful for them either as this is not an easy lane for the Venno to deal with. Only one level of the wards. That's going to help him spot GH. But something I was going to mention is when you have heroes like Doom and Ember who naturally have low int and low mana pools, it's very annoying to die around that silencer. <laughs> yeah, he just keeps racking up the intelligence, the stolen intelligence. Especially uh, as somebody who I know plays Doom, it's really, really annoying. Yeah, percentage-wise, it's so much of your mana. Even just two intelligence, it hurts a lot. Yapsor, who's smoked up, is actually going to run a GH here around that six-minute bounty rune and does have the help of Kuro, so Yapsor's in some serious trouble. Fada's going to make his way over. Looks like they're going to try and go for Kuro here. Fada actually tries to hit the slow onto GH as well. Misses out on that one. They're going to miss out on the kill Sunstrike. on Kuro as well. GH, look at Yapsor. He's hugging the heroes. He wants to make sure that he's not going to be caught up oh, by a Sunstrike here, but what a good run out from GH. Mind Control gets another Courier somehow, and GH is still going to be able to get away. 
that courier has spent all but one minute of this game dead. <laughs> like, I don't know how it's happening or how he's really timing it out, but I mean, he's finding the angle every single time, and that is so frustrating, I think, for Secret. Do you think it, he actually just timed out, like, from the last death, like, three minutes later, and he was like, all right, it's up now, it's probably going to fly out? He probably saw the courier going downwards and yeah. then just timed it okay. on its descent back, but that's still pretty absurd. To lose a courier twice like that, mm -hmm. dead for six minutes, it's only been seven minutes into the game. <laughs> it's it's like it's been necrolted like several times. But Matama man. I mean he's getting space too. Look at him. He's got a staff of wizardry on top of the treads. Yeah, and it seems like Secret was unprepared to deal with this kind of pressure, but this is what Liquid does with their nature's profit. They're gonna play very aggressively in that offlane area, force a lot of pressure down there. And I think the the thing that's throwing Secret off is they're not really helping this invoker. Yeah. They probably expected their to be more support for this invoker, but Miracle's been relatively untouched. If you're Liquid, you're probably gonna say like, look, Miracle, you're gonna have maybe some heroes running at you, but we're gonna get you back into the game via Sun Strikes. Yes. Right? So as long as we're winning the other lanes and you're collecting the, the bounty for the kills, you're fine. And the problem here is that I think Secret is playing too uh, counter-aggressive. Like okay. they're trying to make things happen after the fact. Like they're playing very reactively, I should say, as Yapsor. Gonna pop that fire. So you want them to start setting the tempo, like ganking Matumba Man some more. Like, if you're going to lose your safe lane, you might as well make sure that the enemy safe laner is not having a good time. And Matumba Man has definitely made some serious recovery. Yeah, but who's really having a bad time on the side of Liquid? And that's yeah. the problem is, okay, so they go bottom to help out, but that lane's already dead. Miracle, by that time, he's too hard to gank. And top, all of a sudden, you haven't really touched that area in quite some time. Matumba Man's starting to get farmed. And this is the dangerous Liquid when they're able to win all three of their lanes because they have very greedy cores. Mm -hmm. But if they can do it this successfully, and look at the gold lead, 4,000 at eight minutes <laughs> is really fast. Okay, so I feel like we're beating on Secret almost as hard as Liquid is right now. But what about like the fact that they do have some pretty strong mid-game heroes? Like surely they're gonna hit a, a swing at some point in time where the Ember Spirit, now that he's got his ultimate, can start going around, getting some kills, I'll have Doom up as well. Venomancer's a strong mid-game hero. Like they can at least bring this game back via those some of those early team fights, right? Yeah, they probably missed their early game timing with their Doom, but the next one is let him get level six, then start going around the map get aggressive, take down one of the cores. And the good news is, if you are playing against a Nature's Prophet, you can almost always get back into the game because this hero can't team fight. Fury on TP in. Looks like he's going to go for Puppy here. Surrounds him with another a one. He's going to be able to get another Sun Strike kill for Miracle, dominating already for the 10 minute mark. This is starting to get a little bit out of control right now. Is Normally, you really want to pressure this Invoker. That's what we thought would happen with this Nature's Pro or uh, with this Doom PL mid, but for the most part, he's been untouched and now mind control. This is spiraling out of control now. What is Midwan up to here? He's cutting the creep wave, runs into the invoker. Looks to be able to take it before he jumps back. Matumba Man not able to get the Reaper Scythe off, nor would have killed Midwan. The flame guard's still up. Yeah, and it looks like Secret. They might just be afraid to make their courier leave the base. I'm not sure if anybody needs any items right now, but you've got to be careful. Mind yeah. Control has represented that he's willing to snipe it multiple times as Yapsor going to make his way up here. Doesn't want to use the Doom quite yet, though. But they do have GH as well as Mind Control coming in from the side, so they're actually going to try and get a counter kill on Fada. Stopping the TP with the Void, but they're not going to be able to stop Yapsor's TP out. So it is going to be a core for a support to the favor of Liquid. Still, with this kind of gold lead, I think that's a relatively even exchange. Like, they got to get kills happening on the map. They didn't have to expect Doom for it either. Dagon Tumba completed man. on oh, Tumba Man. He's going to pop with the Dagon. He's going to be able to bring down mid one. He did not see that one coming. I didn't see that one coming either. That <laughs> oh, the Dagon early pick up 11 minutes in from a Tumba Man, and it's already worth it. That's so cool. He he was showing as if he was going to go for a four staff. Yeah. And mid one's like, all right, I've got a flame guard. There's no way that I can die. So much magic damage there. Burst it out. 20 seconds still on the deck for him as Yapsor making his way up top, but Mind Control already TPing out. Radiant They're gonna spot this with the ward air. Here we're gonna see it again. So mid one's thinking to himself, level four I've flame got guard. Level four flame guard. I could just burn you down, and all of a sudden it becomes too much. And mid one's down for 40 seconds off of that deck. Straight up slain as now Ace, he's gotta make something happen. You can't have this passive laning phase anymore. 
starting to go around the map. But Phantom Hunter isn't like the, the best core to go around killing things, right? Like, I feel like he's more of a 25, 30 minute map. You've got Diffuse a Blade and some stats. Yes, he needs to just continue to farm right now. But I fear for his team's ability to fight without him right now. Yeah. As they have Lich, who hasn't had the easiest game either. As Puppy is run around, his game's been slowed down a lot. GH, even a higher level. He's in mid, mind control, already starting the Triant Assault as he wants to back up mid one, popping that Flame Guard preemptively. But I think the mid tower is going to be the next location. Yeah, look at this smoke wrap around. Liquid really want to take spotted, that mid tier though. one away. That ward saw them, and the scan is going to confirm this, that they are grouping around this mid area. And Secret, they've done their homework. They know that this move is coming. Yapsor, though, might still get spotted out. He's going to start taking the high ground as the illusions start making its way up, and the ward is placed. Preemptively pops that Scorched Earth. So it looks like Secret are kind of just giving this one up. They know for a fact that they're behind that tower area now. Nice attempt at a deny, but Kuro doesn't do enough damage. Mid one's going to join them here. But the tower is already under so much assault. It's definitely going down before Secret are able to contest this. So they're going to lose that map control. It just seems like Secret are reading this as Liquid's just too strong right now. I did like that they were able to deward. They sensed that coming. It's a very obvious play after you go for the bottom tower to just immediately connect in. Yeah. Uh, especially considering that the tower was already at half HP. Uh, look at Fada. He also reads the fact that Liquid's coming this way. It seems like Secret, have, have, again, as you said, done their homework about Liquid, seen what kind of rotations they like to make. They're reading the strategy of Liquid very well. They just didn't really anticipate the laning phase. No, no, no. And at all. because of that, they're at such a deficit that they just can't even fight Liquid. Yeah, it just feels like they know what's happening and they still can't stop it. Yeah. The gold lead already at 7,000, and this is a really casual 7,000 gold lead. It doesn't feel as if there's any large-scale engagements that allowed this to happen, mm -hmm. but it's just largely on the fact that all three of their cores steadily that farming away. Yapsor does have that Doom available. 13 minutes, and we haven't really seen it quite yet. This kill. Really, really need this kill, but there is Liquid sitting here on the side. In fact, the Silencer is next to Matuba Band. More importantly, he has Global Silence up, so... Yapsor is not going to see that opportunity to go for Matumba Man. And Matumba yeah. Man's not being punished for his super greedy build of the Dagon, because that means he has no Hood of Defiance. He's super susceptible to magic damage, but they haven't killed him since. I, nobody is being punished for their, yeah. their greedy builds. Right now, Miracle Invoker has a lot of items that don't provide him anything. Halfway to that Axe. Once he has the Axe, of course, he's going to hey. ramp up his effectiveness. But for the most part, this guy's just been farming Ancients and uh, farming that neutral creep triumvirate as Fada mid. They're going to go for it with the haste rune. They're going to try and bring Pata down now. They're going to get the Reaper side. Oh, Jesus! Ooh, that is the kitchen sink beam thrown at poor Fada. Yeah, Tumba Man is the one to pick up the kill off the Reaper side. 50 seconds dead. That is a really long time. I think he does have his Midas. Is he going to lose Midas efficiency for that? Yeah, probably. Yeah, he Oh, is. no. <laughs> that's, that's really where it hurts. We even get to see those stats. Yeah, Absor. Does manage to get off the uh, Scorched Earth, so he's okay in this situation. But again, it's in secret either dying or retreating from every single engagement. They have yet to be the ones to set the tempo of this game. What's weird for me, Cap, is that it's the heroes that you don't often see setting up these fights. Like this Necro, like just Dyer's running around. Running around, yeah. Yeah, he's stacking Reaper Scythe. As much as Secret don't have these heroes that can easily do it, hold that thought as Ace oh, gonna get silenced up. Silence off. Where's the Sun Strike Sun again? Sun coming in. They're gonna be able to bring him low. Ace is gonna be able to get the doppelganger up, but he's already so low. He needs the assistance. Actually, he's gonna be able to bottle up. Turns around with a chain frost, bounce around. They might be able to kill GH. Yapter's here to be able to clean up this kill. Matumba Man actually managed to sneak around the side and get Ace from behind. Brought him down with a Dagon. And will TP out to safety. Just as you think Secret might be able to take one up over Liquid. Well, well let's see. They've at least got Kuro, it looks like. Midwan should be able to run him down pretty easily with the Remnants and the Flame Guard Burn. So that's a freebie. Finally, Secret get themselves a kill that doesn't cost them so much more. And they really needed that, because I'm still struggling to figure out like how this game is exactly happening, because Liquid, of course the Nature's Prophet can TP around and set stuff up, but he's not a natural disable or anything, and so most of this is coming around from GH, who has just been everywhere. Demon on the map so far, already has that medallion, and he's just been a thorn in Secret's side as Liquid. They have full map control right now. They've done a very good job of setting up fights around that Sunstrike, even without any of those reliable disables. 
I love the four staff choice that he's thinking about right now. We saw a unusual four staff picked up uh, yesterday off of the Queen of Pain four staff. Thought that was a pretty cool idea. Yeah, they just need more team fight. Yeah. Like they need ways to be able to kite because the downside of their lineup is they don't have these stuns, so they have to continue to do these like hit and run maneuvers. Sure. For them to be able to get kills. And right now it's successful, and maybe there is a time where they will just be able to get a lot of farm as well, Global Silence, silence pop They're bottom. Go for bottom lane with the Reaper Scythe already being used. Doesn't get hit by the Sun Strike, but does get hit by the top of man's death pulse. Yeah. And the ult ultimately doesn't end up killing him, but still. Pipe. He's got a full pipe. You're right. This is going to shore up their team fight even further. It just keeps getting worse and worse right now for Secret as GH. Mine's puppy slows him down. Doesn't have the frost armor on him either. The sun, sun strike. strike. That one's gonna miss. And GH has to get out of here. Is it actually fly straight up into the trees? Accidentally knocked down those trees, but won't be caught. Radiant those TPL. Are fortified. Yeah. And it looks like Radiant's Liquid, they want to play this early game tempo attack. a little bit faster. As now that they've got the Orchid, anybody is liable to die now. So do you agree with Secret taking this slow? Uh, I don't know. They still haven't used Doom, I think. Yeah. To my knowledge, it's almost 20 minutes into the game right now. I just think they're being run around, and they can't read the moves because their ward vision isn't exactly the best either. And all their lanes are being shoved in because of uh, Furion. Pretty yeah. much there's only one lane that's ever pushed in. And game by, is paused. Uh, <laughs> Puppy will pause the game for poor Ace, who's currently DC'd out. I just noticed the, the bottom left and the bottom... It shows like who glyphed and who. Yeah, it shows both the glyphs and both the. That's awesome. Uh, scans. Take a quick pause, but yeah, it feels like Seeker right now. They're just being run ragged. The fact that they haven't been able to utilize their Doom whatsoever in this game. Mm -hmm. It's 18 minutes in, hasn't used a single Doom, has been level 6 since the 10 minute mark. They just can't really get them online, and as a result, none of Liquid's cores are getting punished. Yeah, they lose Kuroki once in a while, but. Nobody else is dying. Would you say that, I mean, you put most of this on GH. We're back into the game here. You put most of this on GH, but Furion definitely had a large impact as well. Just watching the first 18 minutes, no matter what the outcome was. Oh, feels like sure. the Furion has had enough impact. Would you a secret ban it in game two? I mean, we haven't gotten to that point yet. I think that's, we're being a little bit presumptuous here because okay. I, I think Secret's team fight is still very strong. Mm -hmm. If you doom somebody, yeah. who cares how much net worth you have? You've been doomed. I guess my point is, like, oftentimes the hardest part of the game to really make work for a Fury is that early game. And yes. they have done it with stars. Yeah, they're really comfortable playing around this hero. Radiant are scanning. And we're seeing it here as they're going to scan secret. They're not even trying to make an aggressive maneuver. They just want to farm. They're so afraid right now of going around the map that they're willing to scan just to see if they can farm a little bit further. Don't worry, Fada. It's the little things in life. Maybe losing this game by 8,000 gold scores 5 to 10 before the 20-minute marker, but at least you can deny that double damage rune. Yeah. You got to be happy about those things. As Puppy has a Quelling Blade, <laughs> purely for the warp deny, I think. And uh, Treant, or... Uh... The Sprout? Yeah, Sprout. That's like minor annoying. I mean, it's a good gold. It, oh, it's a little bit annoying when you can't get out and it's a free sun strike. That's true. Radiant's that's your stun. <laughs> that, 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 that's like 500 pure damage straight to the poor Lich who's only got probably 800, 900 HP. Yeah, it's not fun being battle domed. <laughs> it looks like our final tier one tower is going to drop here. Liquid taken for free. And the secret, all they're really getting off of this is maybe pushing in mid. Liquid. They just gonna keep going for this tier two four secret into some sort of reaction. They've got a pipe on Matumba Man. As long as he can get it off before the doom, it's gonna be really hard for them to fight. Yeah, it's so hard to be able to burst anybody down. So the play here is as soon as somebody gets doomed, as the silencer, you just pop global silence and you force staff him out. Then you just reset the fight, yeah. wait out the doom, and go for it again because the necro will regen so quickly. He has a high amount of HP regen right. with that pipe it's okay to take some of these sloppier fights, as long as those things are done in that order. And that's why Secret are so hesitant to fight, even with Liquid taking all of their tier two towers. Is there, can we get like offensive force staff used on the Tumba Man or something, just to get him a little bit closer to you? 
Maybe. It seems like jumping out is going to be pretty hard ass for C. But they want to take this fight. This is not a tower that they want to give away for free. They've given away too much of the map already. And if you lose this tier 2 tower, then you're liable to just get Roshan and Liquid can start playing the split up the map game even further. Yeah. And, and take over that area. But you can see Liquid did have a ward in front of that offlane tower. Yeah, so they see smoke. Secret's movements. They backed off as there were five heroes, but now they know Secret are uh, eventually going to split apart here. They're going to be able to get the catch potentially in the Venomancer, who gets a four staff a little bit farther away. Sunstrike just on the edge. Looks like Mind Control is able to pick it up with his ultimate. Reaper Scythe brings the Doom a little bit low, who's going for Miracles Invoker in the back line. Ember Spirit's going to join him mid one, hopes to be able to catch up, but immediately silenced up. And now being juked around by Miracle back of the rest of his team, hopes to be able to get a save from the Necrophos and will be able to. Mind Control going for the TP out is barely going to be able to make it alive, but the rest of the heroes are a bit low. So it looks like Liquid is just going to be able to clean up the rest of the secret. They're going to be forced to retreat. Ace not getting hit by that tornado. May still be chased down here with no doppelganger up for another second. Oh, mind, mind control. control. In the back line with the Orchid is going to be able to get the Ember Spirit kill. Now Ace is going to move forward, try and get the kill onto Mind Control, surrounding him with his illusions. But the damage is already done. They've lost their core. And now with the rest of Liquid backing Mind Control up. In fact, they're just diving into tier 3. They're going to be able to take Puppy as well. Venomancer is going to go for the TP in. Maybe Liquid have already extended themselves, but they don't have a... Oh, no, they don't have a stun. It's just a TP away. It's so easy for Matumba Man to get out of these engagements now that all the supports are dead. Liquid even gets that tier two. It is a goddamn massacre here in game number one. And Mind Control even TPing bottom to further maximize the farm. Breathing even heavy, heavier down the necks of Secret as Liquid with full control. First Doom of the game used and it largely led to nothing. And in fact, it led to his team all dying and them losing the tier two tower. Yep. And now, the one area that, that they could farm, this ancient area, is the being taken away from them. Ancient, yeah, that like triangle you're talking about. They don't feel comfortable going into their own jungle because they don't know about the ward vision. The next move they make is probably you just buy a desperation gem because you can't play under this kind of vision game. And once you grab that tier two tower up at top, you go for the Roshan. I think Secret are aware of this, but fighting it is another story. Especially with Liquid. I, I feel like this is something Liquid always does with Roshan. They will start a Roshan with like two heroes and they'll always have someone scouting out really far forward so they can actually get the initiation on the team trying to contest Roshan rather than the other way around. Miracle was pushing forward with his invis. Not in a space though to be able to stop Secret as they move forward into the Roshan pit is going to force Liquid out. What I'd like to see right now is Matumba Man back out, let the Nature's Prophet push out both of the side lanes and once somebody goes to deal with this bottom lane, then you can go back into the Roche pit if you feel like it. Yeah. And, but, but at the same time, Secret do have a pretty good uh, hero to be able to deal with that, right? They can just have the Ember Spirit run at bottom. And he yes. can always jump back to that Roshan pit if he lays a Remnant down. Especially now that he has the Yule Scepter. That's yeah. going to make it a lot easier for him. But Lincoln's number one completed on Liquid. Last I checked, they wanted one on Miracle, who is yeah. steadily getting closer to his. And once that happens, Cap, the team fight initiation is just simply not going to be there for Secret. They don't have any of these heroes that ignore the Lincolns very easily, like yeah. the Earthshaker or the Earth Spirit. Instead, they've got a lot of single target focus down. It's going to be super hard as the Doom. You have to get like the Mana Drain creep or the Purge creep, jump in, pop the Lincolns with that ability, and then get Doom off. But the problem with that is Mind Control is going to have Tornado, Cold Snap, something to be able to interrupt you in that short period of time. And yeah. Mind Control has his Orchid. So that extra like half a second that it takes for you to be able to cast something to pop the Lincolns is devastating. It feels like an eternity. Yeah. Especially against players playing at this level. You don't get that kind of time as Miracle up at top is waiting for mid one already starts popping some spells, but just going to push out the wave right now and his team hey, got are gathered up in this mid area. looks like they're pinging around and Matumba Man preemptively pops Grow Shroud but was afraid of getting gone on. Still very tanky though. They're so confident. The Invoker and the, the Furion now that they have those Lincolns. Because they know it's just so unlikely for them to be caught by Secret at this point, especially with the aggressive vision that they have down top lane. They still have that laning ward. It's gonna be able to see most rotations through that off lane jungle area. Yeah, and even though they're only up by eight kills, Liquid have built up a 13,000 gold lead as one more Midas in and Miracle will have paid off 
Three-man smoke protecting Miracle as he pushes in the top lane, looking for that pick off, and he's going to be able to find it onto Ace. It's going to be caught by the Reaper's side. Even gets hit by the Sunstrike. Beautiful play by Liquid. This might just lead them into a high ground scenario as Secret. They'll be hard-pressed to defend this. They don't have the best heroes at defending this. They do have the Venomancer, but he's not in place to place those wards. Only has one down so far. Already going to get gone on. Might as well try and force the buyback. GH gives himself a little bit of push. Gets down the cliff. 45 seconds are going to have to deal with this siege if they want to be able to keep the buyback intact for the Phantom Lancer. And it seems so unlikely that they're going to be able to do that, but we'll see. Midwan pushes himself forward. They get a little bit of damage here. Now the Doom Initiation on the Necropost, but there goes that defensive force down, trying to get him back to the rest of the team. Hoping to be able to keep the Necropost alive here, but they are going to be gone on by Ace. So it looks like he's definitely dead. Midwan gets getting low. Red, Blast actually going to be able to bring down Crow with the help of Ace. Now they look towards Miracle, who goes for a TP out, goes for the Invis, but they do have the bottom though. Blade is going to be able to catch that one. TP in, Mind Control, they're going to be able to catch him as well. Midwan goes for it with a boot to travel, and Mind Control does not have the Orc going to be able to stop him here. Tries to go for the Sprout, doesn't quite catch him. Mid one catching up, goes for the TP out. As long as they actually get the disable here with the Yule Scepter, and then they get the chance to be able to stop the follow up, but he gets the Orchid off, and Mind Control is going to be able to make it out alive. Very well done. Was waiting to pop that Yule Scepter. Baits the first TP so that he uses it, then the second one. Really smart. Holster. Especially since he put himself right on top of the creep wave before he did it, so they had to use the Yule Scepter yeah. for that first disable. And I really like that he went for that play. He understands this is a lost fight. The only way that they can win that fight is if Matama Man is able to live for even half a second, but he recognizes, okay, my team, we've definitively lost this fight. There's no point in me also throwing my life away. Let's create some pressure so they can not immediately go for an objective like this. Roshan. Midwan with a double damage, and Yamsor coming in. Nice double change with a red minute. They're going to be able to bring down both of these supports. Secret hit Liquid back hard. Trying to set the tempo of this game. They're going to take that Tier 1 tower away from Liquid as well. And that gold lead is beginning to plummet for Liquid. Yeah, we talked about it. This is what happens when you don't have these disables. You're always going to get initiated on. We thought they had enough farm, but 15,000 gold lead now going down to 8 as Miracle. He wants this kill on a puppy. You dirty dog. You leave those poor supports alone. Puppy's going to be caught in cold snap. No chance in hell that he's getting out of that one. Will put some pressure on that top lane. Now, here comes the rotation. Sunstrike. Mid one. Or, no, not quite Sunstrike. Mid one's not going to be able to catch him. Yeah, has an Arcane Rune and a DD. Miracle going to get out of there as Mid one now starting to get really farmed. Almost has that fully completed Radiance. There is no lockdown available for him, only silences. So that Yule Scepter is especially effective right now. And Liquid, without any hexes on their side, they're going to be hard pressed to find the initiation. Yeah, they're going to have to, like, throw Reaper Scythe at the, the Ember Spirit, I think, yeah. just to be able to get some control on him. And that's not really your ideal. It shows you that even if you're ahead 15k when you have a lineup that doesn't have the Disables or the team fight ability, and for the most part, you want to avoid these fights. Mm -hmm. Like, Secret, obviously, have the much stronger overall 5 on 5 right now. Now, at least we did get that tier 3 at bottom lane for that nasty engagement at top. So the Shrines are unlocked. They've already taken one of them, bottom one. And Furion is eventually going to throw Treants at that top Shrine as well. So we're not only talking about a uh, pretty big boost in gold for Team Liquid, but also a lot more map control. Yes, and that's what they need right now. They need to further build that lead up. Just suffocate Secret, right? Yeah. Just build and build more and more of an advantage because it's kind of like that, uh, it was that Chinese saying where if you can't go high ground, your advantage is false, right? It's a little bit ringing true here for, for Liquid just because of the fact that they don't have the team fight to always Radiance guarantee beat out Secret. Yeah, and Secret even going to make an aggressive smoke maneuver. They trust their team fight right now. And Fada, only person showing right now on Liquid. Kuro. A little bit ahead right now. Fado's a pretty good actor. Look at him. He's like backing off. He's trying to play a little hesitant. Oh, oh mid one went for it. Chains there. Mid one didn't actually get the sleight of fist onto Matumba Man. They might be able to still catch my control. Good for staff board. Yapsir is going to be able to help mid one out, hoping to be able to close in on that core this kill. But now the fight rest they of Liquid need. is here. They're going to be able to get the Reaper Scythe, bringing Doom low, and then finish him off with mind control. Now the Chain Frost comes in. It's not going to do much. Only bouncing between the two of them. And now G H. Trying to pursue, but Ace makes sure that there is no pursuit on the rest of Secret as they back off. Miracle immediately going for the fast split push. This is going to force Secret to TP back, and you can see Liquid are surging forward, trying to catch some of these heroes that are TPing away. They need a Roshan right now on Liquid. They force people bottom, they force people top. I think this is one of the best opportunities that they're going to have to go for it. 
they're setting up around that area. GH already popping the fly just to see if there's anything there. Yeah. And with the ward in there, it seems like they're a little bit spooked as Miracle gonna finish out a BKB now. Starting to get really farmed. And Kuro. Kuro. Does He's gonna die for that. that I don't He's know, gonna he die for that. He does a lot of damage no. very quickly. Miracle could not get a tornado off in time to save his ally. At the same time, Mind Control takes down another tower, immediately gets out. Now it's two sides that are exposed. And this is exactly what Liquid would want to do. They want to continue to put up the pressure without sacrificing too much. And Mind Control going to try to solve his team's disable issue. Yeah, see if he can pick up that side device. That'll help for sure. They're not lacking damage. With a Dagon 2 and a Shiva's Guard on their Necro, Yeah. plus Unstrike, any hero goes down. They just need the ability to lock somebody up. He's trying to get Dagon 5. So you could just Reaper Sight the Ember Spear, and they could just throw a bunch of magic damage at him in that like one and a half second window where he's disabled. Yeah, it's not a bad idea whatsoever. Uh, Necro, though, of course, not the most mobile hero as Secret. Going to go for another smoke as Fada. Oh, get to mid one. He needs your help badly. Gets the Yule Scepter off. See if he can jump himself away before this damage comes Sunstrike. in. But immediately silence up. The Chain Frost is going to be able to come through. With the damage coming in from the Doom as well, they might be able to bring down Matumba Man, which is a big time kill and well worth it. But here comes Miracle with the backup. Nice Sonic Boom. He's going to be able to push back two of the members. And it looks like Ace is just on full retreat here with the BKB. Miracle. They don't really want to fight him. They just want to be able to get the quick Masu kill on lives GH here. and maybe be able to get out of here. Ace is able to slide himself away. But Yapsar with the Minus Armor coming out with Miracle's damage. It may be a little bit too much. Vaughn Churn and fights, gets off the poison. Matamba Man is able to get that kill, which will gladly help him. He needed that regen as he was dropping dangerously low, especially with the poison on him. So he heals up. They're going to be able to establish control of the map again. Liquid may not have gotten Roshan, but he certainly won that fight. And with the three high ground heroes dead on the side of Secret, including the Lich for his, chain, his Frost Armor, I think this is going to mean a high ground attempt again as they start shoving in this bottom area, but Liquid instead content to go for the Roshan. It's just going to be Motama Man down here, and Liquid should be able to nab this very easily for themselves. Thought they would have tried to go for the Force Out buyback. Not feeling comfortable with potentially being caught. I mean, if you think about it that way, right? If you force the buyback and you get caught trying to retreat, the team fight goes the way it's secret. Boom, they've got Roshan for yeah. themselves. The buyback becomes worth it. So Liquid here going for the safer play. Indeed, as first Roshan of the game, goes to Liquid, a pretty late one, considering the kind of dominance that they've shown 33 minutes into the game. The gold lead finally doing what they wanted to again. <laughs> yep, going down, down, down. Yeah, and it's favor. on the back of taking smarter team fights, going for these single pickoffs, not trying to just group up. If you allow Secret to take these full on, straight up five on fives, it's gonna be rough for you as Yapsor doesn't have Doom, just trying to devour, run forward, get back, and it's gonna be mid one that shows himself up front. We're getting closer to level 25 in the Evoker, and that tornado will certainly help out Liquid's disable issue. <laughs> It'll tell for an Ember Spirit to play around the uh, the tornado that's up Is every it few seconds. One of the few that go for the AoE still. Do you think it's it's AoE blast in this game, though? It might be a little bit different. Between but a PL and an Ember Spirit, I figured tornado would be more value. Hit one. Double damage. Getting a little bit lower is Matumba Man with the Aegis. Yeah, get uh, that chip damage him. on Rain Rash. Liquid. Ooh. Nice use of the Ghost Shot there. Actually, oh. they managed to force out the uh, Reaper Scythe from Matumba Man. He thought he was going to be able to get a kill there, but... Can Secret actually take advantage of that cooldown? I don't think so. <laughs> no, doesn't look like it. In fact, you can already see the Ember Spirit going to bottom lane, looking to meet the Fury on Split Push. Yeah, and Mind Control. Has that Hex available. Not his usual DPS build, but had to adjust for this game. And does so. Miracle, invised up, just walking around. He's trying to finish up that Octarine and level 25. Yeah, he's really close to it. No need to use this Aegis right away, right? You always say, establish map control first. Yeah. That uh, first couple of minutes of Aegis. It's really silly to grab an Aegis and then immediately go for a five man. If you blow that team fight, then you lost your ability to take over the map. And so it was kind of Ooh, a lost cause. And my control, control might just catch mid hex. one here with the Scythe of Ice. They get a little bit of control, but there's just not the damage follow up here. They don't even have a Sentry coming in. Yule Scepter goes off. Maybe they can actually get the Silence follow up with the Global Science. They might be able to catch him. They even have GH with another Silence to follow this one up. Mid one's going to be caught a little bit longer. Oh, he's too fast. Jump himself away. He gets out. Did they change, did they change their silences? Yeah, a little bit. I think they did. 
has Liquid. A little bit of overlap Should have been a there. kill, but yeah. they just didn't have the damage necessary for him. First had to break that Flame Guard as Octarine Core now completed. They see Liquid in this mid area as GH. Starting to press on forward, doesn't have that Aghanim Scepter. So no flying vision for him quite yet, and with no gem available. But he is going to run into Puffy, who's starting to get low, but Yaps are right there to protect him. And now the Chain Frost is let loose. Oh, all of Secret is here to be able to protect their captain. Puffy may still die from the urn tick down here. Oh, just enough to be able to keep himself alive. Now Matumba Man's kind of a bad issue here. Ace is going to chase away Kuro. They're not immediately focusing down this Necrophos because Yaps is going to jump for the back line. He's going to go for the Furion, but that leaves Miracle a little unintended. So they're Matumba just going to go alone. back from Matumba Man and just try and finish him off and let Miracle do whatever he wants. If he wants to retreat, that's fine. They're going to take away the Aegis of the Necrophos and back up. They're actually going to go for this kill, but look at Miracle. He's setting up for a big meteor. Definitely flies AOA combination. But Tumba Man brought down to half HP, but is going to be able to regen up through a lot of this one if they could just get one of these kills. And it looks like they've got all of them here. Liquid, they managed to hit big time out of Secret. They just run out of ammo here. Three members dead down from Secret. Only the two cores of Ember Spirit and Phantom Lancer kept alive. And we see now why he goes for the AoE Deafening Blast. Yeah. He walks in, pops it. <laughs> the entire team just caught unaware by Miracle's side rotation. That's something they maybe got to keep their eye on a little bit better. It's hard to constantly keep up that counter vision, but if you don't have that, Miracle's going to be able to slide into good positions for these team fights. Yeah. Secret that they just had a good fight yeah. with GH down. That's one less four staff, one less hero to worry about. They need to press any kind of advantage that they have, and a numbers one is pretty important for them is now. But come on, man. Plus Orchid. Ace takes a lot of damage, doesn't have a whole lot of mana to work with either. He's only got one nuke off of this one. Yeah, there's a heart though completed on Ace, so he doesn't go down easily as Liquid with two heroes down on the side of Secret, pressing their advantage as much as they can let it go. But as look, Miracle. Liquid's just drawing attention to this bottom lane while Miracle goes for the real shove yeah. at top lane. Tries to finish off this melee, Rax, see if he can do it in time. Vada, not quite enough to be able to catch Miracle. Yeah, Yapsor. Back now over being the dragged back. Lane. They'll get that ranged Rax. And both the melee Rax is down to half HP here. Secret, they're getting torn apart. Miracle is going to pop the BKB and finish off that. Melee Rax goes for the TP out. So this should be the retreat of Liquid now that the pressure of Miracle is gone. But they got what they came for. They got both the melee Rax at top as well as the ranged Rax at bottom. And there's absolutely nothing that they can do about him. When he pops that BKB, he has that Lincolns available, even if Yapsor did have Doom, which he didn't. Unable to complete anything as Miracle going to make his way down there again. And Liquid, I think they want to continue to do this. Why take a straight 5-on-5 five five fight and risk anything when you can just split Secret around the map? Secret don't have that heavy initiation. They've got to show somebody. And it's not easy for them to start these fights in this manner. Yeah, we just don't have those traditional, like, hard initiating four positions or offlaners on either side. So these team fights can get pretty messy. Yeah, without that available, it becomes a game where Liquid are saying to themselves, okay, throw yourselves outside of your base. If you don't do so, well, we'll just bang on your buildings. And if you don't commit to a fight, we'll take your racks. And if you do commit to a fight and you happen to lose it, we've got a lot of mobile heroes. Miracle can just TP back in. Nature's Prophet can do the same. They can't afford to lose any fights. And that's why Secret are so reluctant. And they were willing to give up that Rax as mid one. Doesn't connect. 18,000 gold lead for Liquid, 23 to 14 to their favor. Yeah, and I'm trying to figure out what number it is where it doesn't matter what kind of uh, heroes they have. And this might be the number, 20k. 20k. Yeah, I don't think I've seen too many comebacks from uh, 20k, but we'll see. Secrets can make a little magic happen here at ESL1 Hamburg. You just need a really good Doom. This game... Pretty much falls on Yapsor's how shoulders. Many, how many of them? You need, how many really good dooms do you need? You need a really good one. <laughs> I was hoping to be able to see, like, maybe a refresher starting to be built. No, he's nowhere close to that. Yeah. The problem is there's too many targets for him to doom. Yeah. If you don't doom the Nature's Prophet, well, NP's got Hex and an Orchid. And if you don't doom Matumba Man, he's pretty unkillable. And you have to deal with... Lincolns as well. Yes. And which he's played very well around. I don't think he's had a Doom blocked by Lincolns yet, but it's it, it's still going to be a struggle for it moving it forward. It gets even better than that, because now you've got a six-slotted Miracle who has a Refresher and an Octarine completed. So surely he's he's target number one, right? There's too much firepower coming out of this uh, of this mage. There's his head spinning. 
There's just too many heroes. Any of them would be a good choice, though. That's the good news. If there are three really good choices... <laughs> he gets one Doom off, you could say it's a good Doom. Yeah, it's like, you did it, man. Job complete. You got past the wall of Lincoln Spheres. Take your hands off the keyboard as mid one. Now going to push out this top area. Doesn't opt to save for that buyback. Instead, electing to finish up that Shiva's guard. I think this is the right choice. You're so far behind, what does buyback really matter at this point? Yeah. Are under attack. You're going to need to win a lot of team fights here. Oh, the Treant and army. Jesus. Mind control Radiance easily taking that range tracks. Attack. And again, Liquid going back to this method of split pushing. Secret. They're going to force you attack. into committing for a fight. Where's it going to be, though? Maybe it's around this last Rax. If you can send one area of defense. They're all under this ward right now. Secret not even bothering to play sentries outside. Remember that conversation? It was uh, Swindles and Moo on the Star Ladder panel. You said there's a lot of trash in the game, referring to just like Treants and yeah. in this case, Forge Spirits. There's so many things in the way for a Secret that are just pushing into their base. They have to clear through all these all this stuff before they can even think about initiating onto Team Liquid in the back line. That's a fitting commentary, considering Crow's dream of becoming a garbage man. <laughs> as the gem is now That's completed. where he came up with this strategy. Mid one gonna shove out this mid area. And I guess if you're this far behind, you can just start to defend only one area, like centralize everything. That, that's another area. Chinese problem, right? In, in Dota, once you've lost two lanes of racks, it, the game becomes easier because you only have one lane to focus on. Yeah. Did Jack tell you that? Yeah. Mm, that sounds like a good one as Liquid. They've got the high ground area. Doom oh, has no! been expended. It's an illusion. <laughs> they waited so long just for that. And Matoma Man going to preemptively pop All right, his double Shivas. chains. Is there some way that Secret actually wins this fight with a wasted Doom? No, they're going to have to retreat here with a Global Silence pop right on top of a Shrine too. That would be suicide to rush into that fight. So there was a wrong target. <laughs> <laughs> there was a wrong target. We, we didn't indeed. anticipate that one. <laughs> He was trying to play decisively. He's like, this is our moment. Who cares? It's the first person that instantly... Instant regret there. Oh. For Yapsor. That's rough. And Man, now we're Liquid... praising him for not getting... He's, he's like, he hasn't lost a Doom to a Lincoln's yet. Happens to be an illusion that he runs into. It's the same thing. Yeah. As Secret... Oh, Miracle. He's going for the assassination on Puppy again. This ward has done way too much. Or the Rax, actually. This ward has done way too much. Yeah. Uh for Liquid, and normally it gets dewarded pretty early on, but I think Secret, they're just under the gun, feeling the pressure right now. Too many things for them to have to worry about I as at bottom. Just giving this one up. You might as well. Yeah. <laughs> they're gonna pop Glyph, but no Be one's near guys. it. It's, it's dying. The melee racks, starting to get pretty low, but Ember Spirit is making an effort to clean it up as oh, mid lane. Mid -lane. This is where the real fight is. Kim Ace pops an anti dodges some bit, but does get caught by the Reaper site. But oh Jesus, he's so tanky. That was actually so little damage. But Tumble Man's completely out of mana too. Yeah. So they managed to burn him out, but Miracle still gets the objective. Every and little silver lining for uh, Secret is surrounding very dark, dark cloud. In a way, this makes the game, like you said, easier for Secret. <laughs> it was just right. stuff that they didn't want to have to worry about. Now, well, now you don't have to worry about it. Focus all your attention on this mid racks and defending it. The side lanes are done already. Who cares about that? That's a foregone conclusion. It's time to think of, about the future. You've got plenty of huts and shrines in the way to deal with the side lane pushes. Exactly. Focus on, focus on mid and focus on this Roshan fight, right? This yes. is the opportunity for Secret. The jump's going to matter as Doom doesn't have Doom quite yet, but he's going to start running at Kuroki, trying all to right. force something out. Just hoping to be able to force a global silence or something, but it is on cooldown. Secret Look at the back line, though. Control. Miracle Bada. coming from behind. <laughs> Look out behind you, Miracle. The assassin is coming. It looks like they're going to be able to catch GH. And will be managed to bring him down. So it's a four versus five now. But Secret are trying to retreat back to their mid lane. Miracle is unable to stop any of that. Pops a refresher, though. And he's going to try and catch these heroes. With the AoE deafening blast, he's hoping to be able to take on this fight. One versus two, but gets caught by the Doom. He pops the BKB beforehand. So that'll help him out a little bit. And it looks like Secret are not okay with chasing him down. They don't feel comfortable with it, especially with the rest of the Team Liquid being gone for so long. A starts backing himself away. Looks like we will manage to get our Doom out of there, so Yapsar makes a clean retreat. But their Tier 3 did take some damage, and all they got out of it was a Night Stalker kill. Yeah, and another Doom had to be expended for that, but with the BKB down on the side of Miracle, if he was able to do that half a second earlier, then maybe they can just defuse or chase him down. But Miracle, gonna go for it as Ace, out of mana, try to go for the attempt, unable to connect. Dude, Ace is always out of mana. Every single time I look at him. Miracle, he does have BKB. 
I thought maybe it would be on cooldown, but boop. No, with the Octarine Core, it's almost always off cooldown. As 40 seconds only versus Refresher. That's how long Jeez. the cooldown is as Mind Control just continuing to shove out the lanes with his ultimate. What's our Doom cooldown? I bet it's about the same. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Doom cooldown is longer than the Refresher. I think he should just go for his own Refresher orb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He needs... He needs the double doom. Like, as unfortunate as it is, pretty much the entire game comes down to can Yaps or Doom two people and get rid of their net worths. It's unfair to put all that pressure on him, but it's the only way that I can see them reasonably making a comeback as... Uh, credit to Secret, they have kept it somewhat close. Like, the gold lead hasn't increased by that much. Only 16k despite losing two sides. Yaps yeah, or get out of here. Links back to base. Okay, so now they don't even have Roshan to worry about. Blitz. Now yeah. it's even simpler. It's just sitting in your base waiting for Liquid to come at you. In a way, it does kind of free up your mind, though. Like that bottom lane, Liquid isn't really focusing on that anymore. It's yeah. this mid area. As long as Secret can make this last hold. And now you don't have to worry about going outside of your base either to contest Roshan. Yeah, mid one moves forward. Is there Shiva's. any sort of initiation? Just a yeah, little bit sword. of pokes at Matumba, man. Yeah. Pops the pipe, and with an Aegis available, it makes his job even more complicated. But this Phantom Lancer is really strong. He's quite slotted, as is the Emperor. But part of the problem I see is that like he's got mana issues, right? Mana is still really important for this Phantom Lancer. Mana is important for everyone. As Fada. Oh, jump forward. <laughs> All right, just a force half back down. No one is really willing to commit right now. Liquid don't want to throw this lead away, and Secret don't want to leave their base. Ember Spirit jumps forward with the Remnant. What's he doing? He's going to be caught by the Reaper's Scythe. Yule Scepter down. Can he get out of this one with a Sun Strike? And AoE Deafening Blast as well. They're going to oh, be Yapsor's able to bring him up. down. I'm not sure. Mid one, he's dead. And so is Yapsor. I don't know what that initiation was from Secret, but they seemed ill-prepared for mid one's Yolo-ness. And now Secret is going to be forced into a three versus five underneath their own shrine. So at least they've got that going Refresh for them. Or... But unfortunately, our Phantom Lancer just isn't able to do a whole lot. He's been stuck inside the Sprout. Now finally managed to get out, but every single target he gets Ghost on just turns out to be a bad one. Mind Control now turns against it with a Bloodthorn, and he's getting a lot of damage onto him. Another Dom and as he goes back to the fountain, his tier three is going to start dropping, and Liquid are going to be able to take Mega Creeps off of this win. And I'm not sure what Secret is meant to do to defend against this. There's so many things hitting at their buildings. The creeps are everywhere. Venom answers caught inside the Sprout again. How fitting that a Sun Strike brings him down. Ace, he may have the HP, he may have the mana. He's even surviving against all five members, but the throne will not, and that is why Secret to call GG on game number one. It did feel like Ace never died, but he also didn't do enough damage. Yeah. They just ignored him, killed everyone else around him, and Liquid, I very feel like nice that's effort. the story of Phantom most of the time. Right now, it just it seems like a hero that just doesn't do enough. GG is called a secret. Have to try again shortly. All right. Shortly indeed, we're going to have a quick break with commercials. Hello, you guys love those things. And we'll be back with our panel and heading into game number two.